Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. In a world where everyone says hello, they dare to say, Yeah, yeah good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day. Yes. Good day. Yeah. 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 Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day, Tim. Yeah, good day, Leon. Yeah, good day, everyone. Yeah, good day, everyone. Welcome to Yeah, good day, complete guide to Australia. Tim, what's that sound? Uh, the road outside. No, it's Ding Dong Merrily on High. Ah, oh, Christmas. Is, are you playing that? This bells are ringing. Are we editing that in? Santa's singing. I don't think we're allowed to legally. I don't think we can put that in. Yeah, probably. No, it'd be out of creative. It'd be creative comments. It doesn't matter. Rudolph is on the roof. Santa's in the chimney. Yeah. And Blitzen's getting blazed. And we are locked down in the house because these people are trying to get in. Yeah. We did not invite them. We've called the police. Yeah. (laughs) But we thought we'd record a podcast while we wait. Yeah. It's Christmas time. What a time. Again. Tim, yeah. I don't know about you, but this year just feels like it's gone faster than any other year. I swear to God, it feels like Christmas comes every year and I am <laughs> done with it. Can't we have it every second year? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why are we having it every year? Haven't no, we learned? No. It's a wonderful time of year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's all right. It's really um, joyous. Um, that's all I have to it's say. It's joyous to yeah. not have work. It's that's joyous to see day. family and friends. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then <laughs> yep. everything else is... Fine. The food's pretty good. Food is a highlight. Yeah. Not pooping for two days is always great. Yeah. <laughs> everyone. Everyone just stops pooping for two days. <laughs> pretty much. Like, I'm not going to lie. Especially when you're in a house with your extended family. You don't really want to... you, you got to be careful. You don't want to open up that can of worms. Oh, mercy. Um, ooh. Um, but, so, we've talked about christmas on this show before mm. this is actually our third christmas with each other on this show three christmases um so the first time we talked about with john paul about christmas mm. and um if you remember what happened in that episode good for you because i don't uh, <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. done then last year we talked about the christmas presents which was good yes game yeah. boys polly pockets tamagotchis yep great and hammerhead sharks i believe we talked about at length yeah yeah um this year we're going to talk about Christmas again. x mouse. Uh, we're going to focus on what we get up to in this hot, dry, barren land. This is the thing. This is the thing that interests foreign, foreigners. 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 Right. This Grandpa. is the thing that interests people overseas so much about Australian Christmas is... It's hot as shit at Christmas Eve. Hot as balls. <laughs> it's summer and it's like dead in the middle of summer as well. It's yep. very hot. Yep. So, our Christmas is a little different. It's the same in that we still listen to your weird carols about snow falling. Yeah. But it is still hot. I guess it's more relevant for us, though. Like, a song like I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas is more relevant to us yeah. because we don't get it. No, 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 no. You guys get one. We're yeah. sitting here going, I wish it was 10 degrees cooler. Yeah. It's too hot. It's like, Christmas is usually like a 30 to 35 degree yeah. kind of day. Legally... I, it's too hot, and then it rains as well. Like I feel like the last couple of Christmases, it's rained on Christmas Day. Yeah, you sometimes you get a good old Christmas thunderstorm. Nothing like at the end of a good hot day, getting a present with a thunderstorm rolling in. Yep. So, Tim, where would you like to start? Would you like to start with activities? Would you like to start with food? Let's talk what about food because there okay. are some big differences in food. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, Ours America, Europe. They seem like it's cold, so it's yeah. all very hearty, yeah. warming food. Yes, but we do things a little differently. Number one difference is that you've got to roll out the barbecue. The barbecue is out there. It's going to get used. Yeah. Now, when I say that, I'm actually thinking about what I do on Christmas, and I don't know if a barbecue does get used. Uh, me either, but that's... Okay. That's not... This is beyond the point. Yeah. Maybe in the lead up to Christmas and in the days after, yeah. it's all about barbecues. It depends on how, much, how many people you have and how much effort you feel like going to, because yeah. the more people, the less likely a barbecue is going to come out because it's just too much. So... We do the ham. Good old ham. Christmas ham. Now, we've probably talked about this before, but up until like a year or two ago, I would only eat Christmas ham. Oh, Christmas ham is different to normal ham. 
you slice it right off that bone. Yeah. This is the thing though, is that then you realize that it's just off the bone ham and you can get it all year round. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what so, adult is. adulthood is, is realizing you can do whatever you want. So now I eat ham more often, but Christmas ham, mm. like literally for many, many years. I want some now. It would be, yeah, now I'm wanting Christmas ham. It would be the only thing, only time of year I would eat it. Sometimes Easter. Mm-hmm. You'd have it. You'd have Christmas ham at Easter, naturally. Um, but, but like, it kind of baffles me that I would go an entire year without eating ham until two days Christmas and Boxing Day. Yeah, no, it's it's bloody delicious, and you keep it in the fridge in its bag in a ham bag, which is just a a bag made of tea towel. Yeah, basically, it's a and weird the, ta- thing. the the bag's meant to be wet. Yeah, I think to keep the ham wet. I guess so. I've never had to so ask. Stop these it questions. drying out. And you've always got, like, someone's got to bring the ham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's either provided by the people whose house... But you've usually got to, like, put in for the ham. Yeah. Because ham's pretty expensive. We kind of had... When I was growing up, we'd have, like, the ham that we had at home that mum and dad would get, like, a couple of weeks before. Yeah. And we'd just have that. We'd be eating off that for for a while. These hams are big. Yeah. It's an And then there'd ham. be the Christmas Day ham, which was actually actually at the Christmas... At the venue. ...festivities. Yeah. But we had the separate home ham. Yeah, so you had... We're a ham family. We love the ham. The hams that I'm not into are the ones that come... They're kind of like at the ham loaf. And mm. so it's still like that off-the-bone style, but it's usually got the film on the outside, like yeah, the yeah, layer. Yeah, yeah, I'm I not about that line. Yeah, they are cheaper though. They are. And in this economy. In yeah. this economy? In this economy. And at Christmas? Look, um, a good ham's a ham ham. Do you put anything with your ham? Like, do you have, like, applesauce or anything with it? Uh, I'm not a big fan of applesauce in general, to no. be honest. I'm a cheese boy. You put cheese on your ham? Not during the feast. It's a good ham and cheese. <laughs> Stop hitting the fan. This fucking fan's right near me <laughs> and I keep hitting it. Um, yeah, ham and cheese, that's like the side meal. That's not a Christmas Day meal. No, that's, that's just like, leftovers. That's like what ham is used for afterwards. And because, like, a ham and cheese croissant is usually just, like, shaved ham. And mm. so you've upped the ante by using off-the-bone yeah. ham. But in terms of Christmas Day, I don't think I would put much with it. Maybe maybe gravy, but mm, not so much. Because nah, the gravy is more reserved for your chickens, yeah. your porks. Your... Do you have pork at Christmas as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do oh, have the, all kinds mate, of... The Green family is a pork Christmas family. <laughs> Who does the pork? Who cooks it? Because uh, you make a... Tim makes... I've, I think I've mentioned before. Tim makes a mean pork. I can't really eat pork, but yeah. the crackling he gets on it... We're is... born with pork in the blood. So <laughs> we, we, we... You should go to the doctor around right? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Cholesterol still. Yeah, right. Through the roof. Uh, so growing up, Dad always did it. Uh-huh. But I learned... He learned that from his mum and his generation. dad, who are very, very good as well. And they always took care of... The pork. The pork and, and the meat in general at Christmas. Uh, in the oven specifically or on the Weber? I think we did it on a Weber once or twice, but usually it's in the oven. But on the Weber would be nice. Yeah. So who does it now? Uh, I believe my auntie does it. Okay. It depends where I spend Christmas. And but, she's got uh, the, the, the green power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Pop will help, of course. Obviously. He's got to have oversight on all, oh, yeah. on all things pork related. He wears a high vis yeah. vest. And, a, and then various a family hat. members will visit throughout the course just to check that everything's okay. Yeah. Steal a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. He's got, you got to do the taste test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time it comes out, it's half the size it was when it went yeah. in. You guys don't ca- do pork? Me? Yeah. A roast um, pork with a good crackling and... No, there might be pork. So, like, I, I have the two occasions. Christmas Day is mum's family. And Boxing Day is Dad's family. Mm. And Christmas Day, I spend it eating. And so, I just kind of forget what goes in my mouth. Right. And a lot of the times, I can't work out what the meat is. I just put it on my plate anyway. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Sometimes there's pickled ham. That's yucky. You know, for for someone with Crohn's disease, <laughs> it seems like just eating things without <laughs> realizing what they are is probably the best thing you can do. Crohn's and meat <laughs> yeah. don't have any problems aside from... Like straight up pork. If I eat a bit of right. too much pork, okay, because it's hard, it's the hardest to, to digest meat. Ah, so pork belly really ruins my shot. Um, but also over Christmas, I don't have Crohn's. Ah, we forget about it. Yeah. So when I get to Sydney for about when I'm there for like a week, that week I don't have Crohn's. Yeah, is how it works. The ten days of no chronica. <laughs> yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a tradition in my yeah. religion. Um, so I don't know if we have pork. 
We might. I think we have crackling, so there probably is pork. Yeah. Yeah, come to think of it. You can't really get crackling from any other animal. <laughs> can you get oh, can you get crackling from other animals? Um Not really. Anyway. So yeah, and as I said, there's also the other form, like pickled ham is I don't even know what how you make that, but it's not nice. I don't know if I've ever had pickled ham. I think it's a thing. Um so we do that. And then in terms of other roast foods, there's chicken. Off, chicken. There's always chicken. There might, chicken. might be some turkey. So we'll, uh, not so much turkey though. Well, Australia's no, not a big got, turkey country. In in my family, turkey log, turkey loaf is where it's at. Yeah, which is like processed bits of turkey breast in log shaped form, and it's delicious. Right. Again, now that I'm an adult, Elise and I have had it, I think, two or three times this year because I've realised that I can just have it whenever I want. Mm. But you get one of those, and the tradition in my family is that Christmas Eve, we have. Uh, turkey sandwiches mm-hmm. either made by mum or nana whoever's in the mood for making the sandwich but it's a great time right right that will happen again this year yeah uh, but at Christmas day we usually have someone brings like a proper bit of turkey and none of them listen to this but I also don't know who does it it's usually dry uh. so I'm usually not a big fan of turkey if you ask me to cook turkey I wouldn't know that where to wasn't start. in a log form. Yeah. I wouldn't know where to start. But America, this is another difference You're all between about us. Turkey over there. They're all about turkey over there. Or so Hollywood would have it seen. Yeah. Hey, Americans, how do you make a turkey? Yeah. If you could list the exact. Can you recipe. give me a recipe? For it turkey? looks like a lot of effort from what I've seen. Though. In the metric system, please. Yeah. Uh, so those are the meats. Here's one of the biggest differences. What about, about- lamb and beef? Uh, sometimes they're there. Honestly, my family doesn't really do those that much. They're a bit heavy. It's a very hot yeah. time. They're a bit heavy. We also would have um, we have meatloaf sometimes on Christmas Day. Okay, it's meatloaf. meatloaf. I, I do a good love a good meatloaf. meatloaf. Um, uh, and you've got potatoes. Potatoes for fucking days. <laughs> if you don't have enough potatoes to feed an entire army yeah. three times over, you don't have enough potatoes. You've got roast potatoes, yeah. and the best ones are the ones that are cooked alongside the meat. Yes, they get put the into the meat tray Halfway through. Yeah. Um, the other ones are also good, but you got to hit those up. There's usually a potato salad. Yeah. Which I yeah. don't eat. No. Um, but at, on Christmas Day, my cousin started making a potato salad just for me because, I, like, number one, I didn't like potato salad in the first place. And number two, I can't have potato salad because it's full of anti Leon stuff. Right. So she started making a thing that was just like jacket potatoes mm-hmm. with oil and I think rosemary or lemon thyme or something like that. And that was like it, ah. which is delicious. Thing is, though, is that everyone started to like it. Oh. So now she has to make a batch of that as well as a batch of potato salad. So that she's everyone made a can enjoy grave it. mistake. Yeah, potato, pumpkin as well is a big fan and uh, is a big thing. I don't think I have pumpkin over Christmas. Oh, I love pumpkin. I don't eat many vegetables Roast or pumpkin. salad over Christmas. Roast pumpkin is the best. I pretty much eat. Like, I become a carnivore over Christmas. Yeah. But then you have other like the peas, blah, 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 blah. But what I was going to say. Peas. A big Australian thing is seafood. Yeah, not for my family. Which I, well, in my family definitely does it. And I know, maybe it's a cough thing. I grew up on the coast. Seafood is... beaches. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. we, we have beaches there. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. No, mate. Coughs is, coughs is the beach. Too bloody expensive. Um, yeah, like prawns. Prawns are prominent. a very big Australian I don't really thing. eat seafood, so it's not been a thing. Although I will, do have a bit of a hankering for some octopus at the moment. Ooh, it's my like grilled octopus. It's my Japanese time. I'm starting to get really into it. Um, but like an Australian octopus grilled, grilled yeah. on a barbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd nice. be down for that. On a skewer? Yeah. Um, also, yeah, living in Melbourne with so many Greek restaurants as well definitely oh, ups the want for octopus. I don't know why we don't do seafood. I think, at number one, it's the expense because seafood is not cheap, and especially mm. around. Like, isn't it this time of year where they do the crazy, like, they always show you on the news like people going to the fish market and buying yeah, yeah. all the prawns. Yeah, prawns are very expensive this time of year because everybody wants them. You have to. It's similar to um, at Easter. You often have to put in an order of hot cross buns ahead of time. Yeah, in Australia, you have to order your prawns order ahead your of prawns. time. Yeah, um, but yeah, prawn. But it's usually like it's usually those little bits. Like you don't usually have fish on Christmas, do you? It's yeah, more not like so you much have fish. Prawns, yeah. octopus, calamari. Like you have the yeah the little kind of nibbly things. Yeah. Um, I think that's kind of all the meat. Like on on Boxing Day, one someone's job as well is to get like, I think it's usually whoever's house is at. They have to order chickens from Red Rooster or KFC. Yeah, we no, not KFC. We Probably usually cook them, but yeah, chicken in general. Yeah, get them. You got to get some chicken there. Yeah. Do you like stuffing? I do like stuffing. Mm, I'm not a big fan of stuffing. Our family is once again. 
we do ours is very like Aussie in that there is a lot of light stuff there, yeah. but we also do have obviously my family has UK British heritage, yeah, and it's been largely like traditional in that sense. So there's a lot of the stuffing and the meats and the roasted stuff and fruit cakes and things that I know you guys oh, think are we're disgusting. We're going to dessert soon and you'll see how much I disagree with Tim on everything. <clears throat> um, but the thing is that a lot of this stuff, I think for some families, would be done purely on the barbecue. Like you get your, True. You get, some people, as we know uh, with Kim and Bryn, yeah. their family have like three or four barbecues going for multiple different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you can do all this stuff on the barbecue. But I would also assume there are some Australians that are having just your normal barbecue, sausages, steak... Maybe a couple of chops. I imagine so, yeah, yeah. A bit of pork on there. Um, I wouldn't be adverse to any of those things. I'd no, that'd be, be nice. Yeah. There was something I was going to say about... Uh, oh, the best thing that... What, remember that year? There was a year when we had uh, family Christmas at Elise in my place in yeah. Amy Plains. And it was like, it was you, Dom, Courtney, Elise and I or something like that? Yeah, I think, I think so. We had the Tadakan from Aldi. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, for those of you that don't know what Tadakan is, I feel sorry for you because I think everyone knows. But it's like turkey... Duck and chicken, but all layered. So you have the chicken. There's also bacon wrapped in there yeah. somewhere as well. So it's chicken inside a duck inside a turkey. Yeah. And this one was wrapped in bacon. It was Some bloody delicious. Um, might have to have one of those this week. But so, yeah, I think that's the meat section. Bread rolls are important as well. You can have a garden salad or two. Like. Yeah, yeah. maybe a Chang's noodle salad. I was going to say so we have what is referred to in our family as. Um, Either Chinese noodle salad yeah. or Nikki slash mum's noodle salad. Every family has it. We all have different names for it. Yeah. But we all know what it is. You just don't always know what the other person's talking about because we do call it different it's things. It's basically cos lettuce. Yeah. Shallots. I thought it, it's actually cabbage. It's not lettuce. Oh, I think Unless we you have make lettuce. it with lettuce. We make it with cabbage. I think it's lettuce. Um, shallots uh you get the crispy noodles they're the they're like a fried chinese a fried noodle. noodle and you the brand this is why we call it chang's noodle oh, salad is because the chang's. brand is okay. chang's yeah usually have some like almonds in there like yeah. some kind of nut yeah, yeah nut like they're slithers of almond yeah yeah and i think that's it and then you put in the sauce it's a very vinegary yeah sauce it's like yeah. it's like a, it's like almost like a hoisiny vinegary yeah. thing it is I used to not be super into it when I was growing up, and mm. now I can eat. I just eat like an entire plate. It's not well, very good for me. It's terrible. But I'll eat it in terms of nutritional content. It does not contain much, but no. it is delicious. It's so good. So yeah, my uh, my cousin slash mum's cousin Nikki makes it. Yeah, um, and that's where it's always been. But then if so, if Nikki's there, I think Nikki usually makes it. Mm-hmm. But if Nikki's not at the gathering, mum makes it. So okay. there's always it's always at a gathering. It, it's always available. It's the good stuff. Um. So then, once you've gorged yourself on that, mm-hmm. presents. Yeah. Got to do your presents. You don't, do, do your family do Secret Santa or are they still buying for everyone? We do a Secret Santa sort of thing yeah. now. We've been doing it for quite a few years, yeah. Yeah. Once, yeah, they, they became too many children. The issue is that then I, I'm like, well, where are my gifts? Because mm. um, <laughs> Christmas is about presents, as we've talked about. Obviously. The next part after presents is dessert. Mm. You roll yourself around to the dessert table. And there are a couple of rounds of dessert. It's not a... Like, once the main food is done... Well, there's also multiple rounds of main food. Yeah. Oh, well, there is. And you'll come back to the main food later in the day for leftovers. Yeah. But once you enter dessert time, yeah. dessert time continues until everyone goes to until sleep. Until dinner time. Yeah. Which is lunch. And then again. after that as well. And then you have more dessert. Yeah. I think that I usually do two to three plastic plates for lunch. Yeah. And it's usually mainly meat. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so then dessert comes in. And also, I don't, I, we, I was, I feel like, again, with these American shows, where they show you, like, you know, everyone having their Christmas. And there usually seems to be people sitting at a table. Mm. All of my family functions, there is a table where the food is placed, where you go and pick up your food by walking around it in a clockwise or anti clockwise manner. And then you go off and sit somewhere else. Oh, no, no. We sit together. Do you sit around the table? Yeah, we have the Christmas crackers and everything. Uh, we usually just say grace quickly. Of course. Uh, at the start there. Do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, well, my uncle and auntie. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, more religious than the, religious the rest of the family, but we all understand that's nice. that that's uh, something they like to do, so we all it's do it as well. Uh, oh. It is this year, actually. Well, yeah. there you go. Um, but so you sit around the table. Yeah, we sit around the table, we eat. Oh. Um, there's usually quite a few bottles of 
grog. Cheap. Oh, we don't really drink at Christmas at our house. Um, cheap, uh, sugar-free oh, <laughs> soft drinks, no. <laughs> which no. Popper's picked up for some reason. Why would you do that on Christmas? <laughs> it's Christmas, yeah. not sugar-free time. Um, well, Nan used to be... Well, Nan. Nen was a diabetic. Oh, okay. So Pop got in the habit of buying these sugar free yeah, ones. Right. Poor Pop. Um, and now he just keeps buying them. Yeah. They're not Man, that nice. All I can think about right now is the diet flavored pub squash. It is literally one of the worst tasting drinks yeah. available. Pub squash, I love it. It leaves a shit. flavor on your tongue. But, uh, like, well, I'm not saying that we don't sit around a table, yeah. but the, the food is not on the table where we eat. Right, okay. So we're not like reaching across and grabbing it. There is, there is a table designated for it. And then usually, because like my family is also both. My sides of the family are large. Like mm. on Christmas Day, it's usually I would say probably fifty is the max. Maybe fifty is there's more than fifty nowadays as well. But I think it usually sits between thirty and fifty people. Like there's quite a few of us. Yeah. And then on Dad's side of the family, it alternates because now that people have partners and families and that they have to alternate who they go to. This year is a small year, and so oh. I think there's like fifteen of us maybe. Ah. But when it's a big year, again, there's like fifty of us. So. Oh. You can't sit all around one table. I see, I see. Anyway, dessert. Mm-hmm. I am jonesing for some meringue. Yeah. Now, the meringue, meringue shells yeah. are there for DIY pavlova, which yeah. we have talked about in our pavlova episode. You're probably wondering why I know all the episodes we've done, because I had to look through all the episodes to work out what we could talk about yeah. in the next couple of episodes. We did a pavlova episode, turns out, as well. Mm. I've forgotten all of this. Um but when DIY, DIY pavlova, you get the meringue shell, the hard yeah. meringue shell. You put some cream in there and you put some fruit in there and you make your own meringue. Buddy kiwi, a little bit of uh, strawberry, maybe a blueberry or two. Well, let's not get too fancy. Maybe a bit of uh, mango puree over the top. Passion fruit from a can. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm not into any of that. I'll get a couple of... I'll get some strawberries maybe. But I will, over the course of the, as Tim has said, the multi-hour dessert period... Mm-hmm. I'll probably eat three or four meringue shells because I'll just walk past the table and be like, yeah, I'll have another one of those. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you can see it because it gets all in my beard. Yeah. At my Christmas, we have traditional puddings. A good oh. traditional f- a fruit-filled pudding. Disgusting. It's had brandy put into it as well. Yuck. Here's the thing. People will be saying, hang on, isn't it like really hot in Australia? Isn't that a bit of a heavy dessert? When you're inside with the air con on to the degree that my family likes to put it on, Chili. It's fucking freezing. I like the sound of So right. it works. That sounds good. Uh, no, you sit down, you have that, you have it with a good custard. Yuck. Um, and it's bloody delicious. And I'll be coming back to that again and again. Please don't. For the rest of the uh, thing. You also have your uh, fruit mince pies. Yuck. You also have a trifle. Which Disgusting. We all love a trifle. No one likes a trifle. If anyone... <laughs> everyone loves a soggy cake covered with jelly. <laughs> and more custard. <laughs> and more custard. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. We don't really have pavlova so much. Occasionally, one will appear. But you'll have like a proper pavlova, like a which is a yeah, soft yeah, brand. like a bigger, uh, like a proper made one. Um, but fuck, I can't so wait. I can't wait to fuck myself up with pudding this year. Honestly, yeah. I just you're such an old man. Um, <laughs> so your family stick to like the traditional ones. Yeah, traditional, more traditional desserts. Yeah, we, I think a pudding may appear once in a while, but like. It's like that scene, you know, in Wayne's World where he's like floating through the crowd and he sees his ex-girlfriend and he makes that face of horror as he goes by her. That's me walking past the pudding on the <laughs> table. I'm like, ugh. Um, so there might be a pudding. We, we, I think our family's a little bit funky what we got. So number one, you got mum's ice cream pudding, which oh, yeah. I won't say what I said last time because obviously that was upsetting to mum. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Let's not go into it. <laughs> Just remember, I don't really eat it. Do you know um, I would appreciate it? Tim would. I think, didn't I bring you, did I bring you some last time? I don't think so. Not that I remember. It's impossible to. Um, I, and I would remember, that. Janelle, wouldn't I? Yeah. Because I'm would. a, I appreciate you. Next time Tim's up, if there's some ice cream, like it, <laughs> it ticks all your boxes. It's got like alcohol fruit in there. Yep. It's ice cream. I'm there. It's good. You had People me an like alcohol it. soaked fruit, to be honest. Um. So mum's got her ice cream pudding that appears everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um. There's usually some normal ice cream as well. Mm. But then we get into the stuff like those crispy noodles that we mentioned before. Yep. Those covered in chocolate. Yeah. With a bit of peanut butter. Yeah. What are they called? That's not know. a spider. We usually call them a spider though. Because a spider is... I mean, maybe it is a spider. Because a spider is those with, covered in chocolate, just yeah. like in a little cluster. Yeah. That's what but you can it. add... Peanut butter. Peanut butter to yeah. it. Yeah. I, but I don't even know how that works. So anyway, Man, those same crispy noodles so we talked long. about before... Somehow covered in peanut butter, then covered in hardened chocolate. Yeah, delicious. those are delicious. So you get some of those. Um, they'll usually be like a variety of like chocolates. 
at, on Christmas Day, we get a the mini Christmas tree made out of mint leaves. What? You know those mint leaf lollies? They're like the the sugar dusted green yeah, yeah, jelly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get one of those and they're like stuck into like a marshmallowy trunk thing and you just oh. pluck them off. And so that's always there and again, so it's just people walking past just pulling off these mint leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um what else do we have? Chocolate covered marshmallow Santas, which I had my first one. That was yesterday. a big one last night. It was bloody delicious. It was only um, a dollar as well. Only a dollar. Uh, so the uh, I, I'm trying to. I'm, I'll, I'll take some pictures when I'm there this year. Mm. But because the other thing that we have is um, sometimes. Well, you got Mum's Mars bar slices also always. Oh, there. delicious! Shit, Mum, you making Mars bar slices? Yeah, I'm really keen for it. <laughs> Please write back. <laughs> I'm going to wait. Um, you get Mars by Slice. You, slices are a big thing, I feel, mm. for an Australian Christmas. Bring your Tupperware. Make sure your name's on it, which is hard if you're the same family. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Make, Huxtable. Yeah. Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so make sure you um, you get your slices. But we'll also have... Um, people start to get a bit creative. Ashley, I think it is, makes like a... Or maybe it was Nicola. Anyway, someone makes... A chocolate cookie mm. inside that chocolate cookie uh smashed up bits of like mint candy cane it is amazing um <laughs> no thank you it's so good i do not like candy canes no but you like mint and chocolate yeah i do there's yeah. also the the fad now of um chocolate bark where you yeah, like yeah, yeah. mix again, usually mint candy canes, maybe some fruit or something, and you do white chocolate and normal chocolate, yep. turn it into a sheet, break it up its bark. Um, so we kind of do those little things. Like usually your plate is made up of lots of little kind of All sorts slices of things. Yep. and things and that with Love a bit it. of ice cream in there. Um, and yes, that does go on for an eternity. What do you wear on Christmas Day? What's your attire? Usually shorts and a t-shirt. Just shorts and a t-shirt? Thongs? Yeah. Well, like we discussed last night, I haven't owned thongs in about three years because I lost them and I've Just never bought any bloody more. un-Australian. But I think I'm going to need to buy some. Maybe you get some for Christmas, mate? Mm. No, don't hold me on that because I'm not going to see you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, Yeah, <laughs> no, you're not getting, you're not getting bloody thongs. Uh, yeah. Do you wear a hat? Or are you indoors the whole time? Uh, well, we do the cracker thing. So we get the little paper crown. Yes. Which is fun. I usually put that on top of my hat. But I don't really wear a hat hat. I never wear hats. I guess that's that's true. You don't wear hats. How do you look in a hat? Let's find out. Um, too weird. Too weird. <laughs> the other thing, obviously, is that the, that is the difference from most of the countries is that we go outside. So it's hot. Yeah, it is hot. So you've usually got Bloody hot. your food inside and your seating outside. Yeah. The oldies might sit inside if it's cooler. Mm. I'm an oldie, so I'll usually sit inside. Yeah. Um, the men will go out to the garage and discuss each other's cars. Yep, yeah, and Tim and I stand there and go, oh, it's the carburetor Yeah, <laughs> in my fuel injector Have you car. checked the carburetor? <laughs> what was that, Tim? Oh, I don't know. No, nothing. nothing. <laughs> no, 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 I said I agree. <laughs> yeah. uh, the other thing is you sit at the kitchen table and fix everybody's technology. Yeah. yeah. Tim, um, <laughs> I took a photo the other day yeah. and I can't find it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tim, you know how you're an Apple tech expert. Um, yeah. Where do you find? Or you'll tell them how to fix it. You'll fix it. You'll tell them how you fixed it. They'll be like, oh, I've been doing that, but it, it didn't do anything. <laughs> no, you haven't, Margaret. I've, you probably haven't been doing that because I did it and it worked. So. Or you tell them the fix and they go, oh, that's just too hard, isn't yeah. it? It's like, well, shit. Oh, we didn't have this sort of thing when I was young. so No, we didn't. We had the depression. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... But yeah, so you do you do all that stuff and affordable housing. Continue. <laughs> oh, I guess the millennial bandwagon lately. <laughs> so that'll happen. So for me, my family. So as we all know, Dad is a big Hawaiian shirt wearer. He does love a Hawaiian shirt. And I became a Hawaiian shirt lover as well. Sure. And so for many years, until Mum had a bit of a, a a situation with Lowe's, where Lowe's were definitely in the wrong and didn't treat Mum well. Ugh. After our many years of service, bloody at Lowe's, am I right? Yeah, not anymore. But mum would get, like, a new Hawaiian shirt for me for every no, Christmas. She'd not. get one for dad as well, sometimes for Elise. And sometimes they'd be matching too. Are Lowe's legally the only store in Australia that's still allowed to sell Hawaiian shirts? I shirt? believe so. Yeah. Um, no, you can get them from, I think, Kmart as well. Well, also places like Cotton On, they sell some kind of good ones. Yeah, because anyway, they're coming back. If you want to know where to get a Hawaiian shirt from, I can tell you. I've got, like, six in my cupboard. Um, but a couple of years ago, someone asked for the Christmas Day function for mum's family. Mm-hmm. 
like to have a theme or something like that. And it was decided, I think, I can't remember if we decided on Hawaiian shirts or it was just bright colored. Right. Theme. And so the whole family rocked up in like bright colored things and Hawaiian shirts. But then every year, because I kind of led the way as I am, you know, a Hawaiian shirt leader, they always ask me what the theme is. And I'm always just like Hawaiian shirts again. Like, yeah. let's just keep going with that. So my my typical attire for Christmas and Boxing Day is shorts, a Hawaiian shirt, thongs, and now my Akubra hat. Fantastic. With a paper party hat over the top of it. Obviously. <laughs> Up on the cracker. That was assumed, yeah. The bonbon. Bon. They do bonbons in other countries. Yeah. Do you guys get as crappy a plastic toys out of them as we do? Shitty plastic toys. Man, they're bad. Paper crown, really bad jokes, like really bad jokes. Yeah. Um, and half the time they don't go off properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. gunpowder inside doesn't work. Yeah. Um, Bloody Aussie Christmas and that. Activities? Briefly? Yeah, you play a little bit of cricket. Water fights? Water fights. Get your water pistols, get your water balloons. Go to the beach. Go maybe down to the beach. in the morning before it gets too hot. Yeah, before there's too many tourists down there. Yeah. Um, you want to have... Yeah, backyard cricket's important. You play in one hand, one bounce, or you playing on the full? What are you playing? Oh, mate, you want to play on the full, but at the end of the day, not everyone's up to that skill level. So you've got to go one hand, one bounce, which actually is a lot harder. <laughs> at the end of the day, everyone's got a beer or a wine in their hand. So yeah. one hand, one bounce is the only option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if I mentioned about one of my cousins. They have this huge field out the back and they'll mow a cricket pitch. Oh. So you've got an actual pitch to play on for our it's Christmas dedication, cricket. Yeah. yeah, it gets a bit hectic. Um, and you'll have people sitting like you have spectators. There's like a row yeah. of people in Fucking a hell, yeah. yeah, calm down, Uncle Paul. We, <laughs> mate. Come on. Yeah. Uncle Paul, he's five years old. He <laughs> I got him out. You made him cry. Look at him. He's bawling his eyes out. <laughs> it's tap and run, you dickhead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one hand, one bounce, you little dickhead. Yeah. I caught him on the full. That doesn't count. I'm going, I caught him on the full. <laughs> Oh, if we're not going to play bloody, bloody cheating, I'm not bloody playing this game. <laughs> we're not playing proper rules. I'm not fucking playing anyway. I'm going back to the co- to the, the house. Yeah. Um, we uh, used to throw the old vortex around. Yeah, back when vortexes were popular. <laughs> the old whistling vortex. Kick a footy around. Um, coits never goes astray. Good game of coits or horseshoe. Uh, yeah, any of those. We play a game called Corn in the Hole now as well. Oh, that like, sounds a bit weird. I think it's like or called beanbag toss or that. There's like a you have like oh, I know the one that, you know about. it's like the angled yeah, yeah, wooden yeah, yeah, platform yeah. with a hole in it, and you throw like a beanbag yeah. and try to get in. It's actually quite fun. Yeah, right. Um, bocce is a big one for my family. Bocce. We're a bocce playing family. I don't know what that is. To be honest. Um, oh, is that the heavy balls? It's the metal balls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a you kind of throw it in this weird underarm overarm fashion. At a little jack and try to get it close. You have two shots at it. We're a big bocce fan. Underarm, overarm. I think that's called a dislocated arm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know when we started playing bocce as a family, but nobody does. It's a big one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good. Yeah. Is that everything? Yeah, I think so. You, Although now, I do what? have a dad vice. Oh no, I meant was that everything on Christmas? Then moving uh, into the dad vice. Yeah. No. 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 That's no. the Australian Christmas. Some of it you may have heard before, and if you have, you've had it a second time. So, tough bloody luck. We like to bring things to you repetitively, because we find repetition to be the most entertaining thing you can give an yeah. audience. Next week, we're doing an episode on Vegemite. Yeah, um, stick around for that. If you are in Australia, let us know what your Australian Christmas tradition is. Yeah, we'll take a couple of photos of our own Christmas, bloody post up some of that food, yeah. show you what it is all about. It's going to be great. I can't wait. I think I don't know if I'm going to drink this Christmas. I might just be smashing the uh, lemonades. Hmm. I think I might have to drive myself around. Diet lemonades, I hope. Uh, let me read you this dad vice. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. Did Tim just throw shade at me? <laughs> the tea and the shade. Um, dad uh, vice. Yeah. Give it me. Dear boys, I'm seeking some advice on good Christmas presents. My family have begun doing a secret Santa style present exchange on account of us all being older now and not wanting to spend too much of our hard earned dough. Mm hmm. I got to get a gift for my cousin who is 21 years old. Mm-hmm. I don't know him that well as we only see each other a couple times a year. And because he's a bit younger, he likes a different shit to me. Mm. Help us out, boys. What do I get him? Shannon. Mm, Shannon, 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 Shannon. There's a section at Kmart, Target, and Maya mm. for these exact occasions. Yes. You get him a mini game of bass fishing. Yep. You get him a fart button. 
a fart button. A yeah. button that makes fart sounds. Yeah. 21 year olds are into that at the moment. Yeah. You buy him a phone case for the wrong phone. <laughs> <laughs> Get him a Lynx shower pack. Oh, here we go. The Lynx shower pack. It Can't comes with uh, body spray. Uh huh. Not deodorant. Not deodorant. It's body spray. <laughs> body spray. It does not. And shower gel. Yeah, and a loofah. And let me tell you, if you want to buy something that's going to last him a long time, yeah, Lynx shower gel is going to last yes. him a long time. Even better, just to really fuck him off, get a Lynx travel pack. Yes. Where it comes with a mini can of deodorant yep. and a mini bottle. And a normal size loofah. And it usually comes in a fun little bag, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so he'll have a bag to use for his travel. Um, I tend to buy, when it comes to Secret Santa, I buy things that can be played on the day. Yeah. So you buy, last year, was it last year? I think my number one gift that I was giving out was they were selling croquet at Kmart. So oh, yeah. I was buying croquet. It yeah, was like right. 20 bucks. Croquet. Usually a $20 limit. It's not bad, not bad um, at all. So I can play that. Maybe so. Any of these new dumb games where you put like the thing in your mouth that holds your mouth open and oh, you go yeah, try yeah, and yeah, talk, yeah. or yeah. the pie face thing, all of that stuff. It's all ridiculous stuff, isn't it? It's yeah. all a bit of fun around the old Christmas, the Yule tide log. Yep. Yule log, the Yule log of Yule. Do a log. What is a Yule log? I think I, I think I, it's a cake. Yeah, I think I learned about it on Bake Off. Um, Shannon, basically. You have to find something completely impractical. Yeah. Because if you try to get something for him that he'll use, mm. that's when you get into trouble. Yeah. Maybe get him a nice set of jams. Jams are always a great gift <laughs> to give on to someone else. And the giftorium there at Maya has a good selection of jams. Just make sure that his mum likes jam. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they're going her way. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Christmas... I'm done with Christmas already. We're not even there yet. Not even there. Um, yeah, so have a Merry Christmas. Have a happy holiday. Yeah, happy, nah. Enjoy yourselves. Happy whatever you do or don't celebrate. Yeah. Enjoy the time off is what I usually say because most people get time off. Enjoy watching humanity at its finest in the shopping centres. Oh, I hate people at this time of year. Yeah. Can't wait to go to the shops this week and finish my Christmas shop. I will not be going in the shops. I have a real problem in that my bus leaves on the opposite side of Burke Street Mall from where uh, I work. So I actually have to walk past Burke Street Mall. Those who don't know Melbourne well, Burke Street Mall is the main shopping yeah. area of the city. The city in Melbourne. It's got Maya. It's got David Jones. It's got friggin' everything. And it's going to be ridiculously busy constantly yeah. this week. And, you're going and to I'm the, not going to be happy about that. The bus going of there. people that have like 18 large yeah. shopping bags. I'm not psyched about it, but that's fine. You got to do what you got to do, don't you? You got to do what you got to do for Christmas. I'm also always like late. Like I've only bought one Christmas present so far, I think. Yeah. And what's the date today or something? It's like the 12th, 13th, 16th? I don't know what the day is. 16th, I believe. Um,. So, yeah, so have a good break. Be safe, eh? Don't be an idiot on the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of cops on the road this lot time of, of year, folks. A lot of cops. So just make sure you know the speed limit. Double the merits. <laughs> Wear your seatbelt. Yeah. Um, make sure your kids are strapped in. So are your dogs. Yep. Um, but, yeah. And remember, it's not crim safe if it's not crim safe. It's not crim safe. Um, and we'll see you for one more episode before the end of the year. Because I think our last episode comes out just before the year ends. Yeah, I believe or around so. the end of the yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no. Yeah. Won't see you next year just yet. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Good one. Good one. Um, enjoy your Christmas parties. Try not to make an ass of yourself. Um, yeah. www.yegade.com forward slash shop to buy things. Mm. I was actually trying to think about Patreon, but I managed to bring it around to something that would work. There's uh, there's some stuff you might be able to buy your 21-year-old cousin there, Shannon. Yeah, stocking stuff is on there for sure. Tim can get a pair of thongs off there too. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Um, Patreon.com forward slash yeah, day. Buy some stickers. Yeah, it's all just happening, isn't it? I'm hungry is very hungry Hungry person. as a frog in a sock. Yeah. Um, good stuff. As always, yeah, g'day, Tim. Yeah, g'day, Leon. Yeah, g'day, everyone. Yeah, g'day, everyone. Catch us on the flippity flop. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details.